everybody. Hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and my furry sidekicks. If you're new, I'm Laura. Wyatt's white puppy dog. Zena is the tan puppy dog. And if you see a kitty cat, that's Harvey. We're sure happy you're here and we hope you stick around for the long haul and hit that subscribe so I can keep on doing this. Today, it is Sunday. I'm kicking off outfit of the day, what I wore. And it is a chilly day. So after we've had um, some 80 degree days, it is now 42. <laughs> Welcome to Pennsylvania weather. It is only going to get up to, I believe, 48-ish, low of 38. So it is chilly. It's a cloudy day, and I don't think we're going to see too much sunshine this Sunday. Let's see. For today, I'll be busy trying to get some filming done for you all. Um, I am. This is a travel week again for work for me. It's been a busy time, um, so I do have to try to think ahead for that and, and coordinate some outfits. Um, lots of housework to do as well. So I picked an easy outfit. I have on hidden denim from Wantable. I also um, have on a chaser tee. Um, this one is the Palm Springs one. I got in a Trendsend quite some time ago. And then I topped it off with this sundry um, uh, oversized jacket, I guess we'll call it, um, that came in a more recent Transcend. I love this one. It was pricey, but I love it. I think I fell in love with the color instantly because it brought all the spring vibes, um, but gives you some warmth. For shoes, also from a Transcend, these uh, Dolce Vita slides. And that is my outfit today. I didn't put on jewelry. I just have on gold hoops for changing today. I kept it quite simple. All right, well, we're going to get this day started. Hope your week starts off wonderful, and we'll be back tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It is Monday. I almost said Tuesday. It's Monday. Um, it is very chilly out, 42 degrees. It feels fr freezing, which it was when I woke up. <laughs> um, yes, and my second Timu haul posted, so check that one out. There's some fun uh, warm weather vibes going on in that one. So everything is at an amazing price. I have no sidekicks today. I'm getting ready to pack. So I have stuff kind of everywhere as I plan this, what I'm taking this week. And it's going to be a chillier week than last week. Um, yeah, I'm tired for some reason. <laughs> Coming off the weekend, I shouldn't be going into this week. I should be rested. I'm feeling tired this week. Um, for today's outfit, I have on hidden denim and a thread and supply t-shirt, both from a wantable. And then I put on my vertigo long cardigan from my latest armoire. My shoes are, I think the same as yesterday, my Dolce Vita mules. Love these. These came from a trend scent. And then um, jewelry, I have on a neck, Stella and Dot necklace, a little Y necklace. Uh, I have hoop earrings on and my ring from Anna Luisa. And that is it for today. All right, I gotta get back to work. Hope you're having a fabulous week. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, time for out of the day. Wyatt and Zena both joining me, but they're both enjoying sweet potato fries because that's all Zena cares about. It is before seven in the morning, only 30 degrees outside. It's only gonna get up to 50 Five and I have to get on the road. Let's see. For outfit of the day today, I chose a wantable outfit, Dear John Denim. I have on a Z Supply cardigan, you may remember from my last haul. And I believe this is my Mother's Day haul. And then I threw on an Ebby bralette underneath for comfy, plus it matches so beautifully. And I have on Vince Camuto booties, open toe booties. You can see they come up uh, to my ankle. They zip up the front, but they're open toe. And that's my outfit today. For jewelry, I just have on um, a Glamour Jewelry Box necklace, uh, still on dot earrings, and a bracelet that was my mom's. And I think my ring is um, Rock's Box. Almost forgot the jewelry. All right. Got to get on the road. Hope you're doing well. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, right? I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. Time for outfit of the day. And let's see, 
It is 41 degrees. It is supposed to get up into the low 60s today, so that'll be nice. Um, and let's see, I have a video planned for you today, but at the moment is escaping me which one I have for today. So I hope it's a good one. <laughs> oh, we can talk about it tomorrow. And for off of the day today, I have on um, White House Black Market denim. I have on that corset jacket, also from White House Black Market, I just recently shared with you. And for a top, this is a White House Black Market tank, I think I got maybe two years ago. Trying to pop a little bit of um, tropical vibes here. For shoes, I have on um, Vince Camuto. You've seen those, I wore them last week. They're like open heel, open toe. And then for jewelry, I have on a rocks box ring. I have on just hoop earrings and a necklace that I'm pretty sure I got in a transcend. And that is my outfit for today. All right. Hi, it is early. It is not even, yeah, it's not even 630 yet, but I got to get going. And um, I will see you tomorrow with another outfit. Hey, everybody. It is, what is it? Thursday? It is Thursday. It's 44 degrees outside and I am ready to go home. <laughs> but I always am at the end of the week, so that's not new. Busy day ahead. <clears throat> Good news is four o'clock today ends the two weeks of my compression stocking, um, but I will probably wear it through my ride home so it won't come off till later tonight. Um, but my compression stockings come off today, so made it. Um, for outfit of the day today, I have on Faraday pants. You may remember from my trend send. I paired it with um, this cardigan that's in a loft tom sharing with you this week. And of course, my Ebby bralette. Do you not love these bralettes? You've got to check out Ebby if you haven't already. They're the most comfortable bras ever. Um, I love them. And since I have a long day today, I decided to go with this. And they have perfect coverage, plus they're pretty. So if you pop that under, because there's a little bit of that pretty green, it would pull the pants. So I have that just showing a little bit. And then for shoes, I have on my um, Vince Camuto again that I wore on the drive up, so Tuesday. Very comfortable. And for jewelry, I have on the same ring as yesterday, the same earrings as Tuesday, and then I have on a rocks box necklace. Yeah. So my front door fashion posted yesterday. It was a good one. I, my stylist, she does an amazing job. So kudos to Rachel, she rocks. Um, I had a hard time picking with that one, um, but I ended up keeping, I think it was five items. Yes, it was five. I kept the um, black in and in top, it was silky, the tank. I kept the pink, um, the pink blazer. I love it, the EG blazer. I kept the white pants, the white denim by DL 1961. I also kept the uh, Karen Kane dress. I wanted the gray one too, but I had to make a, a call um, for budget reasons. So I picked the Karen Kane one instead of the gray one, which was just, it was cashmere, it was amazing. Um, but I thought I would wear the Karen Kane one more often. And then I kept that pink cardigan that went with it because I felt like all those pieces kind of mixed and matched nicely, except for the cardigan with the dress and um, the, blazer with the dress and the cardigan with the other outfit. So anyway, that's what I kept from it, but I could have kept so much more. <laughs> it was awesome. All right. Well, that's a wrap on today's outfit of the day and we'll be back tomorrow with happy dance. Hey everybody. It's Friday. We did it. We did it. It's been such a week. Oh, what? Such a week. Oh, such a long week. What do you think, Z? We did it. We made it to Friday. You just want treats. Friday treats, huh? Because we did it. You gonna do the music? Yeah? Okay. You wanna tell everybody? Tell everybody what you did this week. You slept? You ate? Huh? Yeah? You ate treats? Is that what you did? While I was gone, did you keep order in the house? You don't know. She doesn't know. 
We made it to Friday. It's a very windy day, very chilly, no real sun, 57 degrees. Yeah, all wind it shows, lots of wind. And I still feel like there is major chaos in my house while we've had this basement construction going on. It's just crazy and it's just dragging on. Um, let's see, what, what have we got going on today? My loft haul posted. It was a fun one, right? I loved it. I hope you check it out. Lots of goodies in that one. And let's see, for today's outfit, I have on my Liverpool pieces, if you remember, the Liverpool denim and the Liverpool jacket that I kept from my Try Before You Buy. Um, the Try Before You Buy was kind of interesting because you had to, you, you bought the pieces or you ordered the pieces up to six. They put a hold on your credit card for that full amount, but they didn't charge you. And then when they received the items back, they charge you for the full amount and then credited you for those you returned. But you had to go through the return process to return the items. So it was, I thought it was a little complicated and maybe just easier to order things. <laughs> but you guys let me know what you think. It was a little bit different than what I was used to. They never actually charged me for anything until the same day that they also returned the items that they got back. So it was done all at one time. Um, and I got a note saying, it's time for us to like put another hold on your credit card for the full amount. So I thought that was odd, but then at the same time, they like ch uh, char charged the full amount and refunded the difference. So just trying to explain that a little bit if you want to give the Liverpool try before you buy um, a chance. But it's, it's just a different way that they handle it than I've seen with other companies. But... I did like it and I did keep a few things, namely the pants and this cute jacket. And then underneath it, I have on a Z supplied long sleeve tee that I got in a wantable. And then for shoes, Jeffrey Campbell. These are oldies but goodies I've had for some time now. And yes, no more stocking. It's off. No more. Look at that. We did it. Made it through two full weeks. And then for jewelry, I have on um, silver hoops, a um, necklace that I got I think this came in a, um, I want to say a FabFitFun. I think it came in a FabFitFun. And then a ring that I got in a, I got from Leah Sophia quite some time ago. And that is it. I don't know if I showed you my um, nails this time around, but this is my nails for the next, through next week. I like a great French. And that's it for Friday. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with one more outfit. Hey, everybody, it is Saturday and time for final outfit of the day. Zena perked right up because she thinks that means she's getting a treat. So maybe we'll just give her a treat and make her happy, huh? We're all going to make Zizi happy. It is a chillier weekend. Come on, Z. Chilly, chilly. There you go. Are you happy now? You want one, Wyatt? And it's only, let's see, it's 57, but it's a chilly 57 because it's like no sun, um, windy, and rainy. <laughs> so it feels much colder than that. Before I get to my final outfit, I have a silver swag box to unbox with you. So can't wait to share that. This one's a heavy one. So we're going to get into that. Silver Swag is Happy Mail for Adults, makes a perfect gift. It is not um, promoted as a discount box, but it is every box is valued at $50, um, and it is uh, $49.99 a month, but discounts are available if you buy, um, instead of paying monthly, buying it per month, you can get, um, I think it's 6 and 12 yeah, six and 12 month subscriptions, and then the price does go down. So here's what I see when I open it up. This is the May box. Good morning, May. May is coming. It's almost here. I love this. It says, Silver, Silver Swag Box presents Mind Your Biscuits. How cute is that? And um, they always give you an activity, a home or holiday decor item, as well as a personal use item, a snack. And, um, and they'll give you little 
like talking points, like little questions or ideas in which you can have conversations. And this one is a Mother's Day theme. It says, nothing says Mother's Day like breakfast in bed. Pour yourself a cup of coffee and reflect on the wise people in your life. And remember our favorite word of advice, mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. I love that. That is so cute. Um, And the questions um, are, what is the best or most memorable advice your mom gave you? Who is someone you consider wise and why? Who, what have been the greatest sources of wisdom in your life? And there's more. I love it. Okay, so let's get into the box. Thanks for being, it says, thanks for being part of Silver Swag. And then we're going to get into what's inside. Let's dig in. I do obviously have a code for you if you'd like to give this box a try. It is happy 15 for $15 off your first box. Oh, I love this. It is a breakfast in bed theme. All right. So first up is the uh, silicone spatula. I love how it says on this side, be beautiful. You see that? So this is a silicone spatula. Durable and pretty, this vintage inspired spatula mixes, folds, and blends in retro style. Look at that handle. This is so adorable. I love the blue. So pretty. I love it. Dishwasher ready, it says. You can put it in the dishwasher. All right, what else have we got? Sunday brunch confectionery blend soy candle. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> it smells like waffles in uh, syrup. It says hand poured soy candle with notes of maple, cinnamon, vanilla, and pecans topped with mini waffles. Sadly, they're not edible. That's adorable. <laughs> I love it. It smells smells amazing. <laughs> I love that. Next up, Simply Coffee Coffee Scrub. Check that out. Wake up your senses while exfoliating your skin with this all-natural sugar scrub and real coffee grounds. Oh, it's sealed. I can't show you. This is adorable. So it's a, oh, let me see. We're going to open it. Let's, oh, check this out. Oh, Check that out. It smells just like coffee. That is so cool. Coffee scrub. Okay. So you can exfoliate your skin with this awesome, refreshing, get yourself wide awake in the morning coffee scrub. Then we have biscuit mix. Just add water or milk and you'll be instantly transported back to your grandma's kitchen. This is a full size. It says the instructions are easy. You preheat the oven, you measure it in a bowl and basically add milk or water, stir it. And then you can make just a few biscuits. Use one and a half teaspoons of mix per biscuit plus just enough liquid to make soft dough. And then you um, flour your hands. Flour the surface, pat or roll based on your thickness, and then um, brush with butter and bake. Southern style biscuit mix. This is awesome. So many goodies in here. I love these themes. These themes are amazing. I still got a couple more things. This is Adam's Apple Company Apple Pie Jam. We can't think of a better way to top a hot, fresh biscuit than with this delicious jam. This is another uh, full size. This is 10 ounces of jam. And the last item, mind your own biscuits and life will be great. (laughs) This is so cute. It's a tea towel. Keep your hands clean and follow the simple recipe for happiness. Aunt Martha's dirty laundry tea towel. That's adorable. And that's everything. What did you think? This would make an awesome gift. So I think Mother's Day, birthdays, a thinking of you gift. Awesome. I love it. Silver swag box. Um, 
Happy 15 for $15 off your first box. I'll put all the information down below for you. This one is May's, so there's still time to get it. Um, and I will, yeah, I'll make sure all the information's down below. All right, let's get into today's outfit. Can I put this down, buddy? All right, so for today, I have on a Transcend outfit. I have on, oh, let me first tell you about what I kept from my Transcend this week. So that posted today. My Transcend was another good one because my stylist always does such a great job. You might recognize this tank top from that box. So this is the Chaser tank, kept it. I also kept the jewelry, so the necklace um, and, or the bracelets and the um, earrings. So cute. I kept both of them. Aren't those cute? Yeah, so colorful, both of them. And then I kept the white uh, tee. I don't know what, I really enjoyed these sleeves for some reason, so I thought this was a really great uh, dress up tee. And then I kept the romper, but I exchanged it to get a larger size so it would be comfortable in the torso for me since it's it's all one piece. I wanted to make sure I was able to wear it all day in, in comfort. So I did return that one for a larger size for the small, and I'm looking forward to it coming um, pretty soon. Those are my keepers for my Transcend. Okay, now we can do outfit of the day. I have on, as I mentioned already, the Chaser Tank. I did throw on a Beyond Yoga um, sports bra underneath it since it cuts in here on the sides. And then I have on Sanctuary joggers that I got in a previous Transcend, um, as well as the Sorrel flip-flops from a previous Transcend. And my jacket is by Free People. So I love this one. It's a little bit thicker and heavier since it was chilly out today. Um, so put that jacket on top of it and I got it at Bloomingdale's. For jewelry, I have on a Rocks Box um, earrings, Rocks Box ring you've been seeing. And then my necklace is uh, one I got from Wantable. And that's everything. That is a wrap on outfit of the day for this week. I will list all my outfits down below if I can link to an item I will. Many come from boxes, so I'll stay at the boxes and put all the information for those boxes down below as well. Can't wait to hear what your favorites were, so please do share. And hit that like if you had fun. Hit that subscribe and hang out for long haul if you haven't already. I so appreciate the support. And if you already have, a huge thank you. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.